Hello my great friends, today quickly we will see how to create a simple Django project that generates unique avatars that you can edit or upload anywhere. This video is going to be short but you can find everything in details in this article. For the requirements, anything above Django 3.1 and Python 3.7 will work without any issues. We will be using Tailwind CSS for the front end, which requires no GS, so make sure to install it. For that, we are using the Django Tailwind package. And I want to mention that in case you faced any kind of installation problem related to the tools we are using, and if you are using Windows, probably you will get one. The common issue related to Play Avatars for Windows users, it's about Cairo. Some of you will get an import error. In that case, read this section. Moving to Pi Avatars, which is the tool we will use to generate the images. To install it, we use this command. We use pip. Now let's open IPython to see how it works. First, we import it. Then we create an avatar instance. Then we generate a new avatar image. I save it here. So let's open it. This is the default avatar that the, that the tool generates. So let's keep reading from the blog post. Now, in order to generate lots of images, we need more control over how the avatar should look like. For that, we have a function here that we can use to specify each character of the avatar from the skin color, hair color to the background color. But to get unique images, we need lots of options. For that, I have a list of all of the options here that we can use. Now let's move to the Django project. And since this video isn't meant for beginners, I will use a tool that I've created to automate the creation and the installation of Django. Let's go to the folder, delete that image. Now we need to create a new virtual environment. For that, we are using virtual EMV. Install it using pip if you don't have it. Then create a new virtual environment. For Linux and Mac users, activate it using source. VMV bin activate. Otherwise, for Windows users, type VMV scripts activate. Now, this is the tool we are using. To install it, we run pip install faster Django dev. Now we can use it. We can we see the command using the help flag. Now we type faster Django dev. We can use hyphen cp or create project to create a new Django project. Then configure templates, static and media file settings. Migrate the default Django apps, then use hyphen i to install another Django package. In this tutorial, we will use Tailwind and Crispy Tailwind. Here, we choose the name of the project folder where we have the settings files. Then, where we want to save the entire project, make sure to type the absolute path. This will take few seconds. For the theme folder name, I will leave it as it is, the default one, which is theme. Everything is fine. Here are all the installed packages in our virtual environment. Now I open another terminal. Activate the virtual environment and run the command to start Tailwind. So we can use the grid class CSS utility in our Django project. 
if I open the project in VS Code, you will see how much time we gain using the faster Django dev tool. It creates the Django project with all its configurations and settings. Even it configures the settings of the newly installed packages. Okay, now let's create our home page. In the project's URLs file, I will include our main app. We didn't create it yet. Let's include it here first. Then using faster Django dev, we create a new Django app named NFT. So we are creating the home view class. We are using the generic view, template view, to make everything simple. The template name is home.html. It didn't, it doesn't exist yet. Moving to the app urls.py, import what we need, then added the path of the home page. For the templates, there is no need to waste time writing them. Everything is on the blog post. So I will copy the base.html. It has the boilerplate for home template. Just the head, the title, the tailwind tags, and the blog content where everything should be added. Again, let's copy the content of the home template. As you see, we are including two other templates, the generate avatar form and the results templates. Let's create the partials folder that holds both of the form and the template where we will display the results. Now let's run the server to see. As expected, just a blank page for now. We can now create the two models that we need. Let's copy them from here and paste them in the models.py file of the NFT app. On the top, we are simply importing the fields that we are using. In case you will added users to your app, you can import the user model and add the foreign key in the collection model. As you see, we have two models, the image and the collection models. The collection has the list of the images. It's a way to organize the generated avatars. Nothing complicated here. So the next step is migrating the NFT up. So we can add these two tables to our SQLite database. Using the collection model, let's create a form that we use to ask the user to enter the name of the collection. Also, we added another field that represents the number of the generated images. So our model form needs only one field, which is the name of the collection. To render the form, we have to update the home view. We import the form and using the get context data, we get the context dictionary and append the empty form to it so we can use it in the template. Now, if we check the PyAvatars documentation, it provides us with a function that we can use to control how the avatar should look like. Here are the options that we can change to get lots of different avatars. In the post, I will copy the entire list of options that I converted from the options table to a list of Python variables. 
and create a new file called options.py in the NFT app and to keep my views code clean I will create another file that has all the functions I will use to degenerate the images I will name it utils.py and it will be in the NFT folder of course this utils file has three functions that we need to generate the avatar images the first one is quite simple we provide the file path where we want to save the generated image and of course the name of the file and we use the random module to randomly choose character options for each avatar this way we, we will make sure to create unique images each time we generate a new collection and of course we need to import all the options from options.py file the second function create collection images will create a new collection object to save it in the database so if we will generate 50 avatars in a collection named park the program will create a loop and create 50 images in each iteration it calls this function it creates a new image object and name it based on the collection name and save it in the given path so to display the form let's update the generate avatar form we copy the html content from the post here we save a post form that get the form we used the crispy tailwind to make it look better and the button to submit that form we do the same thing with the results.html file we copy its content and replace it there here we will loop over all the images we generated and display them here and finally generate avatars this one will take the quantity input from the template and use the previous function to create a collection with that number of images and i'm using the multi-threading to speed up the process otherwise generating thousand image will take over 1000 seconds at least which is over which is of course which <laughs> something that we need to avoid later we will use this function on the views.py file so to make use of that last function we need to update the home view one last time we added the post function to handle the creation of the avatars and of course we need to import the generate avatars function that requires the request object and the context which will return with the created collection that we will display in the results template so let's give it a try I guess something is wrong yep the main tool that we need isn't installed let's do it now then run the server here we go here we enter the name of the collection the number of images we want to generate and here they are the avatars we got less than 10 images if you want to fix that increase the speed time of the thread we use it 0.1 seconds to make it fast i guess 0.3 seconds will give you the exact number you want now to see that in the admin page let's create a new super user using the command line i'm creating an admin with a random email then we need to update the admins.py file we have to register our models so we can see and edit them in the admin page 
so if I visit the admin page and check the NFT app we see our models out there this is the collection we created and these are the images that we generated I hope this short and quick video didn't confuse you let me know if you prefer the detailed long tutorial over this type of videos thanks for watching for watching and see you in another video